Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, my name is Josie and it'd be good if you subscribe so then you'll be notified in every video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing um, Instagram Q&A because I'm a fan of ideas so I wanted every, like my followers to ask me questions on my Instagram so I've got like a couple of them now and I asked about two days ago or three days ago so then I get all the questions prepared and I'm going to throw it on my phone. So before we get into this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below for more videos and let's ask oh, my favourite takeaway. My favourite takeaway would have to be Indian. It's the best. But then on to the second question. What's my future job? I was going to say that I wanted my YouTube to grow, grow fast and that I want everyone to know me and stuff but I don't want everyone to know me like when I go out everyone's like I don't know really I don't mind if anyone sees me in the street or anything like that but not like a big celebrity thing but if I had a future job I don't know really, but at the moment what I like to do is probably hairdressing. Did you have a boyfriend before? Also, I love your YouTube videos. Yes, I have had a boyfriend before. And I think it was quite while back. I think my last one was when I was in year 11. But, and thank you for liking my videos. What is... Oh, there's another one. What is your dream job? Um, My dream job. If I had a dream job, I could do anything. Probably a YouTuber. Because I feel like it's not the easy job, but like you could do that when you're at home and stuff like that. Because my most comfortable place is at home. Where in the world do you want to travel to the most? Um, why are these questions so hard? Like, there's so many countries I want to go to, but my first one, I want to go to New York, but obviously that's been cancelled, so I'm doing that next year, which I'm excited for. Um, could be probably Texas. I don't know. I maybe just want to, maybe all the countries that are in, mostly in America, but I would mostly like to go to Abifa. What's your goals as a YouTuber in the future? Oh my god, there's so many questions about my future. Um, my goal as a YouTuber, I want to have at least like a thousand subscribers. But obviously, I'm at like 200 now. But it's better than see why. Um, my goal as a YouTuber in the future, probably... Um, meet and greet but that's most busiest place i don't i haven't really thought about it yet how have you developed as a person in the past year um in the past year i've realized that friends can be most can be toxic but not all of them obviously and I did a video, if you press the I, or it was there, but um, I did a video of 18 things I learned in 18 years. So one of them is in there, like, I, will, um, I know that friends come and go, that happens to everyone. But um, for me, as um, I stopped finding the right friends and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if that's part of the question. What are your future plans? Oh my god, this is literally, this is literally my future video. Uh, well, future question video, yeah. Um, what are your future fan plans? I would like to have at least two dogs, Frenchies, um, a nice house. Um, just basically have nice things. Um... It's really hard because I haven't really thought about what I want to do. 
it's just hard but yeah how has lockdown been lockdown has really been been hard for me because i sometimes like to go out a lot but i'm mostly like staying in and i hate that sometimes but when i'm in that situation and i'm so bored i have to find something to do because because i found big car car all the time who are your favorite youtubers um I don't know who's the top one, but I like Saffron Marker because her video is really good. And I like Anastasia. Um, those are the top ones. I like um, Annie Rose as well. I don't know if some of you might not know, but she's not my age. So I normally like to watch people's videos if like interest me doesn't really bother me what age they are because it's just on youtube for everyone to watch what is your all-time favorite food slash snack um oh my god this is so hard probably chocolate cookies basically basically more like dessert stuff but if it was my snack I'm not really sure I'm so bad what is your sexuality my sexuality I think it might confuse you a lot because a few years ago well a couple of years ago I was straight and obviously I'm turned bisexual and obviously no one can stop me to be that but yeah I'm, I'm proud to say it because it's, I'm not ashamed of it what made you do YouTube? Um, what made me do YouTube is that I've watched loads of people's videos and they've done like really good ideas what to do every week. I just thought if I didn't do that, I'd be so bored every week, like doing nothing. For example, in lockdown, which I think YouTube has made me done through that really. What made me carry on and stuff. Cause I, I do like to do list and I do like oh I got to I got to film a video I got to edit I got to do other stuff like that and now I'm writing my book like I have this book um I'll show you guys how to plan a video soon but in the book I like do what videos I do every week and then I go on YouTube what sort of ideas I should do or I go on Instagram what and what everyone wants me to do and stuff like that really how do you feel about going to college on this sept in September. What course will you do and why? For me, I feel a bit nervous about going to college, really. I, I actually do. But at the same time, it would be good for me because in my old school, I've had loads of mem good memories and bad memories, of course. But I just think it's time to move on. And, and what course will I do? I will be doing hairdressing because I've never done hairdressing and I'm always interesting about hair and i want to and i want to learn how to cut people's hairs and then if any of my family want to have their hair cut, i don't want them if they trust me um and why because i feel like that's the most easy i want to say it's the easiest job but that's the, probably the job i can think of or the courses i can think of because I did beauty in my old school, so I thought I'd do hairdressing as well because I've got a bit of qualifications for that. So I thought I'd do have, I should have qualifications for hairdressing as well. That's the end of the feed. Well, I've finished all the questions. Um, I'm doing like a shout out every week, every week. So this is the shout out right now. And um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so then you'll be notified in every video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And love you guys.